I had no plans on doing this video today. And then I got a random idea to do this. So I am literally sitting here in a sweatshirt and leggings. I had planned on getting dressed as well. And I thought this is kind of an informal video that I can do just sitting in my living room. I have just gotten back from a weekend trip that wasn't on the weekend. We left on a Tuesday night and we came back on a Saturday night very late. We went to Las Vegas for my 50th birthday. We had tried to figure out what we wanted to do. We were like, do we do a party? Do we do... I'm not a big celebrate your birthday type of person. I like to go to a nice dinner around the time of my birthday with a couple good friends, and I'm completely content with that. But Marty kept saying, let's do something for your birthday. We have to do something that you remember. And I have always been a lover of Las Vegas. I have always loved it. I don't gamble and I don't drink. So I personally love the shows, the shopping, and the food. And so I remember going when I was younger and I have gone so many times as an adult. I used to go almost every year for a couple years there. I went with some girlfriends quite a few times and then with Monate, when they first started, they used to do an incentive trip every year. And I think I won it three or four years in a row. So I got a trip for myself and one other person. And I used to take a girlfriend with me. And I also had gone on a work trip with Marty that he got one year. Um, yeah, I am just, I love, it's so much fun. Now I'm also someone who I only feel like I need to go for three or four days tops. So I said to Marty, I said, let's go to Las Vegas and let's take MJ. I said, that would be so fun to see it through his eyes. They have so many things for kids to do now too. And so many shows that are kid friendly. So with February break, it was the perfect time that we didn't have to take him out of school for a long while. He wasn't gonna miss a bunch of work. And then we had the ability to go on a Wednesday until Saturday because also I will say this with kids my own personal choice is I like to get out of there before the weekend craziness really starts I mean so that being said I also when I fly I do not like to check a bag if I can help it I just don't like to I like to have my things with me <laughs> I know it gets there I have had bags lost previously so as many times as I can I try to carry on now with doing capsule wardrobes, it does make that a little bit easier. Where it becomes a little bit more difficult, this was, I am in the middle of winter, so my winter capsule, and it was definitely much more fall weather there, which was perfect. It wasn't too hot, but it was nice and warm. It was just, it was beautiful weather to be there. I will go through everything we did, kind of break down the days, I have a girlfriend who I know in real life and I have known her for quite a few years that I'm, she has been going to Vegas every year, multiple times a year. Sometimes she has taken all of her boys. She knows the ins and outs of Vegas like you wouldn't believe. And so she gives me every time I go the most amazing suggestions. And she recently started an Instagram. I will put that down below. It's at Vegas Guru and she, her name is Joanna, she is amazing. What I'm gonna do in today's video is I'm gonna go through and show you physically what I packed, each item, talk you through it a little bit, and then I'll show you how I packed it. And then at the end, I'm gonna walk through what we did day by day. I'll show you some pictures, I'll insert some photos in here. I also made the decision while we were there kind of to just enjoy the time and I took photos because I wanted to have the photos and we had a great time but I didn't get on stories that often I just took a couple pictures every day like of our view from our hotel and that was it thing I'm gonna show you is this is what I recently got this this is a carry-on it is from the brand I think it's called Beast Beast B-E-I-S no idea I saw it on Nordstrom. It had really, really good reviews. I wanted to get a hard sided. I got this one. This is what I used. However, MJ was the one rolling this one the whole time and I rolled his because 
this was so easy to roll. It was crazy. He loved it. He actually sat on it and rolled around the airport a couple times. So this is what I used for my carry-on, and this is what you will be seeing me pack in. So first things first, let's talk about the shoes. I personally made the decision to not take any heels with me because I knew we were going to be walking a lot. I knew we were going to be going from shows to dinner and things like that. And I knew that I wasn't going anywhere that required a heel or anything like that. So I took sneakers and flats. I took two pairs of sneakers and two pairs of flats. First, I took my favorite Nike Dunks. These are so versatile and so easy to wear in the black and white panda. I love these. These are what I wore on the plane. Now, I will say that we have TSA pre-check, which does make it easier because you don't have to take, you still have to have your liquids under whatever the three ounces is or whatever, but you don't have to take them out of your bag. You don't have to take shoes off. You don't have to take jackets off. It makes it so easy. If you fly frequently, it is such a great thing to have. Then I also took my Gucci sneakers. I just thought this was a great, more classic white sneaker. So I had a little bit of both, both super comfortable for walking. Then I took two pairs of ballet flats. Now. I had picked these up before I went and they are from a brand, what is this brand? MLM LaFleur, New York. They are crazy comfortable. These things are great. I got them in a size 38 and a half because they said to size down and they fit perfectly because I wanted a ballet flat that was a pointed toe because I was bringing wide leg pants and more straight leg pants but I wanted something that had a dressier feel to it and the silver is super in and super on trend and I knew I would wear it in through the spring and summer here as well and so I did some research and came across this brand and I'm really glad I did. I know nothing about this brand, absolutely nothing, but I'm very excited that I got these and and they are super soft, they're very well made, they are leather, they are great and then I also took with me a tried and true pair of flats that I knew would be comfortable no matter what. And these are from the brand Rothy and they are in the bright pink pointed toe. They're almost like a sweater material. You can throw these in the laundry. I love the bottom of these. They are like wearing slippers outside. I have had birdies. I have had all the different brands. These are amazing. They are so soft. You literally, you can take the insoles out. You can throw them in the laundry. They are so awesome and so comfy. And I knew with all the walking, if I wanted a ballet flat instead of a sneaker, but my feet were hurting, this would be a great option. Next up, let's talk about liquids and things like that that I took and how I packed them. First up, I took my, what is this, my Bio Ionic one and a half inch. I am learning again that with my hair shorter, I prefer a one inch to a one and a half but I did take this with me to touch up my hair. And so this is my everyday makeup case. Every single day, this is what I use. Everything is in here. I absolutely love this. It's from Amazon. It has that Louis Vuitton feel to it. Comes in a bunch of colors. Literally all of my makeup is in here. The only things I take out are my, uh, what is this, Color Science, the Flex Sun, it's a tinted SPF and my foundation that I have been using every single time I wear a foundation, which is usually only once or twice a week. But the Estee Lauder Renutriv is my go-to foundation right now. Um, so these were my liquids that I took out. Everything else was able to stay in here. I literally had my brushes. These are my everyday brushes. I have two eyeshadow palettes, a powder, a blush, literally just all of my beauty products. If you guys want to see a whole video on that, maybe I could do that. This is just my everyday makeup that I always, always grab for every once in a while I add in something else. Now, I use these little plastic things. I don't remember where I got them. I got them years ago when they first started the whole three ounce thing. You can see it has all the little airplane things on it. Uh, these two liquids were also inside of here. I have two of these, so I will say the only other thing that was in this one was a thing of the Living Proof Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo, a travel size one. You know what's interesting? I always take this whole thing. I wonder how many ounces is. It's four ounces. I think TSA is technically three ounces. It may be five. 
I think it's three. I don't know. I probably should have paid attention to that. I uh, have my brush cleaner in here, my Sephora brush cleaner. Now, here's something that's interesting about me. And then all of my skincare is in here. Although, I do have the Living Proof Dry Blast. What's it called? Full Dry Volume Blast that's in this one. Uh, I will say something interesting with me about skincare is what I do, I have Dove Body Wash and my L'Occitane, it's like the shower oil wash. These are my two. I use this for shaving and I use this for body wash. And then all of my skincare, my Colleen Rothschild is in here. Uh, the great thing about their products is all of them, like this is a full size one that I was almost at the end of, so I was like, thought I would finish it while I was there. But the great thing about them is they are under the TSA size, so you can take the full size. However, over the time, I have purchased different Discovery collections and like travel size ones that they have had. So I have a lot of stuff in here, like my balancing gel cleanser, my sheer renewal cream. But a funny thing about me, again, as I mentioned, I really hate to check a bag. So as opposed to taking, because I have to fit all my skincare in one little thing here, I refill things like this, but this was a Kiehl's vitamin C. I will use some products that are not my normal products. I think I had something else. Oh, my eye cream was. Oh, there it is. It's in this one. It was, down, it was a Strivectin eye cream. I use them for all my samples, and when I'm traveling, I go and grab some and use those to save on space. My Laneige lip mask, and then I use that same Loxiton body wash. I use the almond body milk. I have that, I refill that. Um, this is the only thing that was a full size that I took in there. So just as a note, when I come home, I mentioned this on my Instagram, I always take a day or two and use the Colleen Rothschild Mandalayic Acid Radiance Serum, and I use it morning and night as the first thing on my skin after I wash my skin, and it clears up the breakouts within a day. So, should I just take that with me next time? Probably, but it depends on how much space I have. Then I just have an old Laura Mercier makeup bag that has things like, you know, Q-tips, toothbrush, body thing. I have uh, little hair clips, just little stuff like that. I have, a, I have a thing of hair ties in here. So this is just, I think this had toothpaste in it too, but I think we used up the toothpaste. Oh, my brush was also in there. I just take a regular brush. I did take this with me too. I don't know why I thought I needed this. This is my hourglass brush set. This is kind of, oops, it's upside down. This is my like go-to brush set. Usually it used to be while I was traveling. I should rephrase that statement. However, I do find it funny. Ever since I put all of my makeup in here for my everyday stuff that I just get ready in my bathroom, I only need what's in here. I did not need one brush out of here. So I really didn't need to take this with me, but this used to be my go-to. Kind of starting with all this stuff that's on the floor, and then I will make my way to standing and what I packed. So I took this bag here, this tote bag. It's from, I always forget who it's by, Lily and Bean. Um, they're based out of London. I love this bag. It's a great tote bag. I clipped on MJ's hat here. In this bag, I had things like our charger that has all of that. I use this little pouch for all of our vitamins and pills that we need. This one I had, and they're all over the bottom of this because I was looking for things. All of my little boosters and chargers and things like that are typically in here. After I charge them, I always actually put them back in here. So that needs to be cleaned up. Uh, I have eyeglasses here. I have my go-to sunglasses. This is my new pair. They are the Chimmy ones. I love these. I have two pairs of these. I haven't worn another pair of sunglasses since I found this brand. Love them, this brand and this pair. Uh, okay, so a ton of earbuds that they give you on the plane. I took, these are my other vitamins. I took some Tums in case anyone had any Tums. Another thing of earbuds they gave us. Do oh, I have a straw in here? Pencil. Don't know. We have some mini pretzels, a notepad, my Kindle, which I did not need or use. 
I have a little bottle of what says Excedrin, but it has like sinus medicine, Advil, Excedrin. It has a little bit of everything in there in case anyone needs it. I have a boarding pass and room keys. And then do I have anything else on the side? I have a pen over here. Oh, I had to stop in Cartier because I have two of these bracelets and my first one, my yellow gold one, was going super loose. Like, I mean, every day I was having to tighten it and I lost one of the screwdrivers. So I went into Cartier and got another screwdriver because my um, bracelet, my other bracelet has been in the service center for I think a month now, if not longer. Um, I need to put that away though. You know what? I'm gonna have to go through this whole thing afterwards anyway, so we're tossing it all back in here. I just realized also in my tote bag that I carried on, I took my Chanel wallet on a chain. It was the only bag I took with me because I knew I could wear it as a crossbody underneath things, and I carried it in that tote bag. It had MJ's passport. Don't need a passport to stay in the country, but I like to have it with me for him in case I need ID for him for anything. There's another room key, money, all my different cards and IDs and all that kind of stuff. And then I did not take a lot of jewelry, so I used my little Roberto coin pouch. But this always stays with me in my um, carry-on tote so that when, if anything ever happens, it's physically on me. I also will say the reason I always use this as my travel brushes is because I always throw this in my tote that I'm carrying on. This is generally something I used to do when I checked. I don't really know why I do this now, now that I'm saying this. So I would carry this on in my tote if I was checking, because to me, I can go to a drugstore and get makeup that will get me through whatever I am doing. However, if my brushes are crappy, my makeup turns out crappy. So I have always carried something like this on with me when I've checked. So that's kind of interesting. I, I didn't need to carry it on in my tote because I was carrying on and I didn't need it because of the things I already had. I am in my spare bedroom where I put a rack up anytime I'm traveling to make it a little bit easier to figure out what I need and I can look at it at a glance, see what outfits can go together. So my Zella live-in leggings are my go-to leggings any, any day. I have them on now anytime so that when I travel, they're just the ones I go to. I had just a Gap white t-shirt and a cashmere hoodie sweatshirt. Now I will say that for the travel and keeping in mind I was in Boston and then going, I then put on a jean jacket and then I layered on an overcoat and a scarf. So those all got carried on with me in case it was cool in Vegas and for the before and after the trip. So the jean jacket I wanted to bring for outfits, but then I also needed something warmer, so I had those with me. And that jacket, actually, it's a cashmere wool blend that's from Nordstrom a couple years ago. It doubles as a great blanket. So that night, we were going out to dinner, and so I put on a pair. These are those Gap jeans that I absolutely love, and a white button-down shirt because it's a good in-between kind of layering piece that isn't too heavy or too light depending on the weather. I actually took the one that had the little panthers on it, but either of these work. And then I wore it with my Veronica Beard blazer. It has a great look for layering. So then the next outfit for the first day is I, so I had on the green DL 1961 kind of cargo pants. I put these ones in the laundry, but I think I'm sending them to the dry cleaner or I need to iron them. Along with the halogen white compression tee, this just makes for a really good combination and it's super comfortable. I kept that same Veronica Beard blazer on with that dicky on it to give it a casual look. And I wore this with those Gucci sneakers. The outfit that I wore with the jeans the night before is when I wore it with those bright pink Rothy's. And then at night that night, I actually had brought the free people kind of puff sleeve top, but I actually ended up going back, putting on that uh, rails blouse, 
same DL 1961 uh, pants and the Veronica Beer blazer, but, but I wore them with the shoes that I purchased while I was there. The next day, I put on my these pants. If you get one thing, guys, buy these pants. They are so good. The Vince Camuto black wide leg pant with just a sassy queen kind of skull tee. I wore that during the day along with, I think I had my jean jacket on that day with that. And I had on the black and white Nike Dunks. And then that night when I got home, I had taken a long sleeve tee with me as well, but I didn't need that during the day. I wasn't sure how cool it was gonna be during the day. Then that night, we were going back out, so I put on the pair of mother denim, and I switched it up. I brought a tank with me, those Ebby tanks that I love, and my quince kind of cardigan, cropped cardigan sweater with those same flats that I got, and then I also wore, again, that Veronica Beard blazer, but I took the dickie off when I wore it for this outfit. So that was everything I took with me. I could have done without two of the long sleeve tees, but you never know as far as temperature and weather wise. But I think I did a pretty good job of using everything that I took with me. Back to my cup of tea. So, okay, let's talk through what we did every day. We left on a Tuesday evening, went into Boston. We went out to grab a bite to eat at a place called Pizzeria Regina. We just stayed at a hotel, a Marriott, right by the airport so that we could get up in the morning. We had a super early flight. I think it was seven something was our flight. So we actually had to get up at four to get over there and get everything checked in, all of that. And sometimes when you're traveling with a child, it's just easier to be early than to be late. I'd rather be early for everything anyway. So. Then we flew the next morning. It was a five hour, 40 minute flight, direct flight there. We got there. I had set up, I had messed this up. I had set up for a limo to come pick us up because it was MJ's first time there. Thought that would be a fun experience for him. We get there and I'm like, why is there nobody here with a sign with our last name on it? We're looking all around. So I start texting the guy and I'm like, hey, I'm like, we're here. I don't see your guy. And he was like, you put 210. We got in at like 1030. And I was like, oh my gosh, how did I do that? I still don't know to this day how I did it. Anyway, he ended up sending somebody over. We had a like legit like Real Housewives sprinter, but it was like a limo version of it. MJ thought it was the coolest thing ever. I said, I'm sorry, I was supposed to, I was supposed to have like a regular, like it was a Hummer limo. And he was like, no, this is so cool. So he loved it. He thought it was the coolest thing. So we went to our hotel. We stayed at the Cosmopolitan. I've never stayed there before. I've stayed at so many hotels there. I've never stayed at the Cosmopolitan, but I always love going in there. It's so centrally located. And so we went in there. Marty travels all the time. So he has some Marriott something. The Cosmopolitan used to be owned by the Marriott. They just recently sold, but they are honoring Marriott things. So we got to go in and check in through like a VIP area or something. Um, it was just like a quieter area with some seats while you waited. So we checked in, they upgraded our room. We had a strip view is what we had paid for, a view of the strip basically. And they upgraded us and they said, I forget what the options were, but we got a room with a view of the Bellagio fountains, which was awesome. It was so perfect because they're so pretty and they go off and it's so nice to watch. And I've gone to restaurants there and asked for seats overlooking those fountains. So to have a room overlooking it was great. So we got all our stuff unpacked and we literally were like, let's go get something to eat and walk around. So in the hotel, there's a floor that has a ton of different restaurants and like, little like pickup places. There's all different kinds of stuff there. So we went and got some Hattie B's chicken for MJ and we got some like Bayo buns and we just sat on this little booth, hung out, got something to eat. And then we went walking and we walked through a bunch of shops and MJ, here's the great thing about MJ. For a boy that is almost a teenager, he will go shopping with us and he loves it. He loves it. He does not complain. He goes around. He's big right now into cologne. So every store we went into, he was checking out the different colognes and stopping at different places. 
and he was awesome. So we walked all over and all around. We came back to the hotel. We went upstairs. We had a little bit of time to just sit and relax and kind of unpack our stuff and everything. Then we all got ready and we went to dinner. We had an early dinner, a five o'clock dinner at Carbone in Aria. Is it in Aria? And so we had dinner there at five. It was so good. The bread service alone, it's like four different types of bread. They're super hot. They're so yummy. They give you Parmesan at your table from a wheel. They give you this little salami rose thing. It all comes when you sit down. So Marty got the biggest veal parm I think I've ever seen. So, so, so good. So we went there for dinner and then we went over to, I think we went to New York, New York to see Terry Fader which is a ventriloquist. MJ's big into ventriloquist. The shows that we chose were definitely more geared towards children and all ages type of thing, not children, all ages. Um, he, I had no, I knew nothing about him. He's a ventriloquist that sings. Like he sang two voices at once. He sung in a female voice. He sang opera. It was insane. So, so good. MJ loved it. That was in a very, very small theater. I think we were like fifth row back and very, very small theater. Had such a great time. Went back to our hotel, went right to bed because at this point we had gotten up at 4 a.m. Eastern time and it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock Las Vegas time, which was like one o'clock here, two o'clock here. MJ was like, I've been up for 21 hours. So the next morning we woke up, Marty went downstairs and got coffees and teas and breakfast stuff for us. And uh, MJ and I slept in, definitely slept in. So then we got up the next morning and we went to Egg Slut Inn, which sounds crazy. So good guys, They're, it sounds weird, their steak and eggs sandwich is unbelievable. It's in the Cosmopolitan, there is a line all hours of the day, doesn't matter what time of day you go by there. So we got breakfast there. Then we went and walked around. MJ decided he wanted to see, he had seen this the day before, to go to the Museum of Illusions, which I thought was going to be about magicians. It was not. It was all kinds of illusions and like things you did. It was very, very, very interactive. Loved it. We had so much fun doing that. So well worth it. It was right next to our hotel between the Aria and the Cosmopolitan. It was just so while we were out shopping, MJ saw a cross the road from us. We were on one side of the street and then there's the other side. He saw a Stranger Things experience, so we went in there. He loved it and took pictures and had fun. He's a big Stranger Things fan. After we were done at Stranger Things, we were across the street from New York, New York, and MJ had seen that they had a pizza shop in there when we were there previously. And so he wanted to go over and get a slice of pizza. So we just got a slice of pizza sat there we all ate it and then we went on the roller coaster that's on new york new york which is highway robbery <laughs> i couldn't believe how much it cost for three of us to go on one roller coaster one time but there were no lines you walked right up and on and it was his first time doing a loop-de-loop -loop, and he loved it so that's cool too he's always loved roller coasters but that was a fun thing to do while you're there because you're doing it on top of buildings awesome then we did a little bit of walking around and shopping and that is where i went into a store and i had already gone into cartier and gotten my little thing and looked at a couple pieces my little screwdriver and then we went in a bunch of different stores in the aria they're like higher end stores you know you've got like celine you've got chanel you've got gucci you've got prada you've got cartier you've got rolex you've got all of those so we went and shopped around there and i got something from chanel which i will show you in just a bit and then we went back, got dressed and ready, and we went to dinner again, another early dinner we had because our shows were at 7.30. So we had a five o'clock dinner at a Mexican restaurant called Javier's in uh, the Aria as well. Javier's is not your typical, what you would think of like Tex-Mex Mexican. Um, it's more of an elevated Mexican. I actually got a strip steak that was probably the best strip steak I've ever had anywhere. MJ got uh, chicken fajitas, which are, they don't come out on the sizzling thing and all of that. They were like all the things in this bowl. Oh, I wish I took a picture of his. It was so good. Uh, he loved it. Absolutely loved it. Marty got tacos. He said they were decent. And I was like, it's kind of, you know, tacos are tacos. 
But mine, he was like, yours was so good. So then we went to see, let me see if I can say his name right, Shin Lim. I always say it wrong. And then went there and you weren't allowed to take photos during the show. So I, I didn't do any of that because they want to, you know, keep it so everybody, it doesn't give anything away. You know, they want you to come. And he had a guy, Colin the Mentalist. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Oh my gosh, I loved him even more than The Magician. So, so, so good. That show, we were in like third row, right hand side. So good. Best show I've seen by far. So then we went back to the room. Again, we're back at 10 30, 11 o'clock. We go to bed right away and then get up the next morning. Same thing. Marty went and got coffee and tea for us. So then um, we got up and we went to Hash House Agogo, which is over in the link. So we took a cab there. There are always lines there. Always, always, always. But we got there at a good time. I think we got there at like 8.30 or 9. And we only had to wait like 20, 30 minutes, I think. They have the world's biggest pancake and chicken and waffles that are literally for two or three people. It's crazy. Their food size is insane. So we ate breakfast there. And then we went to something that MJ had heard of called the Omega Mart, which essentially is like they call it Area 15 instead of Area 51. And it's old warehouses. You have to take a cab to get there. And this one area, it looks like you walk into a supermarket, but it's all like not real things. Like it's a joke. Like, you know what I mean? Like they make up candies, they make up foods, they make it look like a supermarket. But then you go back in through it and there's like all these things you have to figure out. It's like, you know, like an Area 51. Like it's supposed to be like alien stuff and like you have to figure out stuff and like it's just crazy it was so much fun that was mj's favorite thing i think he loved it we were there we thought we were gonna be there for like a half hour we were there for two and a half hours it was crazy so good because we had had a later breakfast after coming back from area 15 we were a little bit hungry in the cosmopolitan there is on the third level a secret pizza shop that you have to know where it is there are no signs it's a long hallway to get to it so we went there had a couple slices of pizza and just you know enjoyed that but had a little bite to eat before going on to the next thing and then we went back to the hotel the boys wanted to go to the pool so i booked an appointment at dry bar because i decided I needed to wash my hair, but I didn't also bring anything to wash my hair. So I had, there's a dry bar in the Cosmopolitan. So I went to dry bar. I had made an appointment the day before in case I needed it. So I went to dry bar, got my hair done, got it blown out, got it curled, all of that. That's what got me back in the mood of curling my hair. Um, so I went to dry bar, did that. The boys went swimming. They got showered, dressed, and ready, and when I got back, I got ready, and this time we went to a show before dinner. We went to America's Got Talent. It had some of the superstars from different shows and things. Cody Lee, the like light up dancing guys, the guy that swallows swords, the drummers, the shadow ones, like all different kinds. So it was really cool. Comedian was the MC. It was so fun. And then we went to dinner at RPM Italian, which, AGT was at the Luxor. MJ was very excited about that, which is the one that's like a pyramid. So he wanted to see that because they're studying Egypt in school. So he took pictures for his teacher. He was taking pictures the whole time we were there. We went to dinner at RPM Italian, which is in Caesar's Forum Shops. So we went over there, had dinner, went back to the room, and we were done. We were exhausted. We Next morning, woke up, we packed up, and we went and took a car to the airport and for the most part just had a long trip back because it was a long trip back and the time difference you are exhausted by the time you get back i'm going to show you quickly what i picked up while i was there i have been thinking about this for a while i was looking at a bag from celine but they didn't have a color i loved and i wanted to see a chanel handbag but the chanel handbags were so picked over it was crazy and they only had colors that to me right now look like Easter eggs, so I was not into it. But this is something that I have been looking at for a while, and it is a pair of ballet flats from Chanel, so hence the reason I didn't wear the silver ones, because I ended up wearing these one night when we went out, and they're all wrapped up in here because we had to bring them back. And so they are just the black quilted Chanel ballet flat. 
They are the leather version with the piping along the edge and then the cap toe with the bow right here. They are so, so soft, so comfortable. I will say that I'm typically a 39 and in heels, I'm usually a 40, but these I actually ended up getting in a 40. So I wore these for the night that we went to Shim Lin. And then I also wore these on the night that we went to AGT with both of the outfits. And I walked in these. When I say I walked in these, I like walked, like I walked so far in these, I was impressed with these. So comfy, so excited for these. And as I mentioned before, I did not own a true black pair of ballet flats. And as I'm doing things like more capsule wardrobe and trying to find items that I will wear for years to come over and over, this is an amazing piece that will stay in my wardrobe forever. So that was my packing in a carry-on and my trip to Las Vegas for my 50th birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have questions about anything I talked about here, if I didn't put them down below, please let me know. And I hope you have a great weekend.